And it's time for our Central Valley Electric update. And Ray Lynn is here. I haven't I haven't prepped for your interview. I don't know what you <laughs> want to talk about. I really didn't come in with any agendas and I just wanted I did want to mention the the Toys for Tots deal again that okay. that you know people can take their unwrapped new unwrapped toys for children ages 0 to 18. Uh, they can drop drop it by our office anytime between now and December 7th. December 7th. Yes. Okay. I knew there was a deadline so they can So with all the Black Friday stuff coming up when you're when you're out there shopping, <laughs> don't forget to grab a couple extra toys for Toys for Tots. That's right. The Black Friday now is all month long. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of that's kind of crazy with uh, with all that going on. Um so December 7th is the deadline on yes, that, Yes, that's right? when so they'll be picking those up. Okay. Yeah. So get those, and it's unwrapped. Unwrapped. But new. But new, okay. yes. You can't re-gift your right. grandson's <laughs> toy that he didn't like. Or you can't go through the closet and get rid of all the toys that the kids don't play with anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you go. That's, yeah. Uh, you want, it has to be new, new unwrapped. Unwrapped. And, uh, yep. and then do that. Okay, that's the drop-off. Do you have a nice... Uh, Turnout for Election Day yesterday. A lot as of folks far as I wandering know, there through. Was, there was always a ton of cars out in the parking lot, and it, it makes it really convenient for us. I, I mean, as as a company, to get our linemen who work out in the field all day long mm -hmm. to to be able to go and vote. So, you know, I'm a little selfish and enjoying having that polling place right there in our community room. But yeah, it's it's nice. And we hadn't actually voted there in a while. I don't know why we voted. We've been voting at the Faith Baptist Church right. where we go to vote. Right. And, uh, but it, maybe it's because I kid around too much. <laughs> 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 they, you know, they ask you the your your year, your birth right. year, and I said the year, and then I said nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> You mean not 18? I said, no, no, 19. <laughs> and then she says, and when you finish your ballot, you take it over to the machine. I said, the shredder? <laughs> the shredder. <laughs> we don't have any shredders Aww. here. <laughs> so I uh, have, to, have to poke fun. But there was a steady line of folks. I mean, we didn't wait. It wasn't like the city election. Right. Where I happened, we happened to show up at the time. I guess everybody else decided to vote in that election. Yeah. Um, I mean, they had a lot more boxes for people to stand, and there were three or four people there, and so they were moving them through pretty oh, quick. Oh, absolutely. They've got that stuff down, for sure. So that was uh, that was fun to get done. Um, let's see. I, I, we mentioned last time the power poles. If, uh, yes, you still have some of those? we do. Okay. Some of the no-value power poles. If anybody's interested, they can just give us a call and speak with Isaac. He's our warehouse supervisor, and... Give them a heads up that he's coming. They're a little short-staffed right now in the warehouse, so if, if they know you're coming, they can better prepare for you. Okay. For sure, well, yeah. That sounds good. And uh, let's see, what else? Well, I mean, I know we had a couple of power outages last week that we let people know about, mm -hmm. and all that dense fog. I never, I never thought that the fog would have affected power like it did, but we really? had some issues in the oil field, but our guys are quick to get that stuff taken care of and get people with their get their power back on so. that's good that's yeah. good i know sunday morning this was uh not cve but there was a hot air balloon that landed on a power line yeah that's, that's or the really envelope good. did not the right not the basket yeah but that was uh you know you got to be ready and jessica was talking about you know i guess up in albuquerque there when they have the big balloon fiesta right the power companies modify the restart circuits. Okay. So if a balloon makes contact with a power line, it doesn't try to re-energize right away. Right away. But I don't know if that's, we have enough balloons around here to, on their festival to even worry about that. Right. Well, and where they're at, well, like where they take off, there's not a whole lot of power lines, but you never know where they're going to end up. Yeah. I guess yeah. is is the question. So. But that was the main thing that Jessica said is that they didn't get out of the basket, they didn't move until after it was verified Good. that uh, the power lines were were dead. Right. And uh, and so they 
bunch of people over there making sure nobody got hurt or, or anything like that. Good, but good. It happens from time to time. It I does. Guess. It does. You've got to be ready for that. Did you go to the community thing on Saturday night? I out? didn't know. Oh, my gosh. That I was, saw pictures. It looked amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was packed. Tons of people out there. And then they lit up the uh, the green dinosaur on the tower. Oh, cool. So if you're out at night and you I see I need to the, look at that, yeah. It's, it's the green dinosaur now. Awesome. I used to see it from our house really plain, and then they built a house. Oh. <laughs> and so I have to kind of go out and to, over here, and then I can look over and see the see the dinosaur. But that was kind of a cool thing, just kind of sit in the backyard, and there's the star. And right. Now it's a green dinosaur. Well, there you go. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Yeah. So that's Now that it's getting dark sooner, I mean. I know. I, know. I might be out when it's dark now. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of crazy trying to get adapted to all of this stuff. I know. I so, know, but we do. I know. I have one computer in the next room. Well, it's actually here, but the monitor's in the next room. That constantly gives us grief on time change. He doesn't like it either. No. The computer no. doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. And, <laughs> you know, you, you reset it. And I said, yeah, but you want me to replay these these ads? I've already played these ads. Right. And so i got to tell it to replay the ads or it, it'll get ahead of itself by an hour. Huh. And then I, I, we'd wake up Sunday morning and we'd be off on the on the programming. And huh. it gets too far off, you can't take it back. It get, gets right. all screwy. So, huh. and then I program. There's the, there's the overnight show. Has an hour missing when you fall back. So I followed all the instructions exactly like it was on the YouTube video. It all looked perfect on the screen. I said, great. We'll have plenty of programming for the overnight. 5 a.m., nothing. Oh, wow. Completely dead. Wow. And so I had to throw some things in there to, to, to fill out the hour, which I did. And then we went over to get ready for the balloon thing. And Lana was with me, and she was listening to the, to the radio. And after my Sunday morning show at 6.15... Nothing. The other show came on. Oh, wow. On top of the show. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had to remote in and mute, 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 mute. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. So, but it's just that one system. All the rest of these ancient computers, they all just sit there and <laughs> do, do what they're told. Do what they're supposed to do, right. you know. And it's not like Y2K. Um, we, uh, we had the older version of these systems at the time, and they sent us a floppy disk. <laughs> with the update to so that everything would not end right at midnight on 1999 right so we up to do the updates we had two two systems at the time not four and then we went over to the city of artesia deal that year for y2k right had the big party we walk back over to the radio station and there's dead air oh no I did the update. <laughs> and the part of the program that tells the system what's on the air at that day and time had not updated. Oh. So I had to go back in and I had to reprogram this station, I had to reprogram the other station, put all that stuff back in, get all that all fixed. Wow. Called the company and I said, hey, you sent me the disk and we installed the program and this is what it did. And, and I can't remember if it was he or she, and they said, yeah, we had a few of those discs that went out that were corrupted. Oh, no. I guess you got the one, one of the corrupted <laughs> ones. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's not what I thought. <laughs> I, did, I did not consider myself a winner. Right, that, that, right. So, anyway. Um, Thanksgiving, you've got Thanksgiving hours at the office? Thanksgiving hours we do. We will be off that Thursday and Friday of Thanksgiving, but there will always be dispatchers there to take your phone calls if, okay. if there's an emergency or an outage or anything like that. And and if there is an outage or anything, our guys will get out there and they will do their best to get the power back on as quickly and safely as they can. Okay. Yeah. Well, well that's good. Well, in the future, we may have to invite some of your folks because there's, especially after the results of the midterms, there's going to be this massive push even bigger and harder and bigger than what we've seen lately to electrify our transportation system. Right. And it'd be great to just get some perspectives Absolutely. On, on Absolutely. what challenges it's going to bring to utilities. And there to, will be challenges. 
Cause, Absolutely. Because we're being told this is the future. Right. This is the way we have to go. Yep. And it's going to be more than, you know, 1% of the vehicles that are sold out there. It's going to be a lot, a lot more. Right. So I guess we need to be ready for it. Absolutely. Wow. So maybe that's something we can, uh, we can kind of share some insights sure. with. Uh, with Absolutely. The, yeah. In the future. Well, good. Um, anything else? Well, one other thing that I did think of is okay. um, people are going to start decorating for Christmas. Yes. And so we just always like to recommend that people use the LED light strands, holiday strands, because they do save energy. Mm -hmm. They last longer. Right. And put, make sure that you're using, if you're using extension cords, make sure that they're rated for outdoors. If that's where you're using them is outdoors, make sure they're rated as such and they're in good repair. If they're not in good repair, it's a safety hazard. Throw them away. And put stuff on timers. That way they're not on all night long. It's a great idea. Yeah. And so there's and a lot of different things you can do to save, save energy. And if the outlet lighting. has two plugs, <laughs> that means you should only use two, two plugs. Two plugs. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Good advice. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in. Absolutely. We'll, we'll see you next week. Very good. Well, let's turn it over to the National.